Hello and welcome to Detroit Performs. I am here with Leslie Green Eisen. Hi there. Now Leslie, you own this pottery shop here. I do own this shop. So yes. tell me about what we're going to be making today. Today we're going to make some little tiny houses. They are almost the size of a fairy house. <laughs> um, it's for an art installation that is going up in the hallway. Yeah. Um, I'm a big fan of public art and community art. And this way the community can participate in that piece of public art. And this is for beginners like me too? It's for everybody. All right, yep. I look forward to that. All right, before we get started on that, let's find out a little bit more about what Leslie does here at Park. I'm just a middle-aged lady doing her thing. I always had art involved in my life. I always had pottery to fall back on as my hobby. And through the years, it's developed into more and more and more of a passion. And now, it's my livelihood. I opened my own studio in September of 2015. I was fortunate enough to be one of the first ones through the door when they turned Park into an arts and recreation complex. When I do my work, it's really fun, and everyone is different. There are no two pieces alike. A lot of my work is whimsical as well as serious, and I just love to watch people look at the pieces that are there and giggle. That's what I want. I want them to make it part of their daily grin, have fun with it. I think we don't get enough grins and giggles because we're always in these times searching for something more. I gotta do more, I gotta go more, I have to be more. So for people to pause and look at a piece that I've created and get a smile from it, I think it's better health, mental health for everybody. I find my inspiration for my work in a lot of different places. I love making high relief tiles. And I also love nature. So the tiles that I make are a series of wildflowers for the Great Lakes. Fishing, fish are kind of my thing. I like to carve fish and, and do those on my lanterns. The other functional pieces that I make are big bowls. I have things called grate plates because you can grate garlic and ginger and nutmeg in these plates and their oil dipping dishes kind of go along with that. So the work that goes into my sculptures and functional pieces, almost all of them are thrown at the potter's wheel and then they're all altered. The man in the moons that I make, throw those at the wheel, then I will create the face and everyone's done individually. For the big sculptures and the big carvings, the lanterns that I like to do, those can take up to 20 hours to create. So it's weeks of work that it takes to go into those. Then they're hopefully dried properly and then they get fired once, they get glazed and then fired again. My favorite thing would be carving lanterns, both tall ones and small ones. I like to draw on them first and those drawings can take me four or five hours, then carve them, then embellish them. So it's just a labor of love. I've come up with a vase that I haven't seen anywhere else. And it's taking into it part of my carving and part of my cutting away. So it looks kind of like a lantern, but it's a vase. There's a lot of people who say that when you're making, you get into a zone. And it's so true with pottery. You, you start working and you get in a zone. It just makes life better for me. I never thought that I would get here. Always knew in the back of my mind that this is what I would eventually like to do and just didn't ever see it as coming to fruition at this scale. I have known for a long time that I wanted to teach and wanted to teach kids and I just decided it was time to do that. So we can go right off the scene. Mm -hmm. Is that good? Okay. Those that can attend the art camps are anybody from six to 17 years old. I have different camps for different age groups and I have different themes for each week. The theme for this camp was cartoon sculptures. And so today they were making a mug and then they were putting a cartoon character on there. The kids in camps get the basic instructions of how to put the piece together. After that, they can do their own thing. 
I wanted to come to this camp because it's fun to play with clay. I like that you can sculpt it in any way you want. If you're thinking of something, you can pretty much do it. I like how it feels. It kind of feels like slime. And I like to just play with it and kind of make stuff with it. I think that you really gain a lot of life skills when you're making art or when you're making. And in this day and age where a six month old knows how to use a phone, I think that we're getting away from knowing how to use our hands and knowing how to make things. And that's what art brings to the table. And it goes back to allowing kids to understand success and allowing kids to make their own mark in the world through their art. I thought it was really fun to do Mickey Mouse for the mug because I really wanted to make it funny and artistic. And the smaller this loop, the better because it gets real fragile. If you want to make something, she really tries to make it happen and she helps you out with everything. Use this part of your hand and roll it on there, Just give it a little smush. Yes, ma'am. I made Bill Cipher from Gravity Falls and a whistle that's a bird. I made a sculpture yesterday of Mr. Krabs and I made a whistle and it was a fish. I'm proud. I think they turned out pretty good. So I'm happy with them. So you're cutting through the back of the house okay. to make your roof line. Okay. And it's just like cutting through pastry dough. Pretty much. I mean, it's kind of smooth, it's but... It's soft and pliable. Mm-hmm. Not really the best cutter here. Uh... It's okay. All right. It's a work in progress. I am a we're beginner. Not, we're not going to grade you. Okay. <laughs> I don't even want to know what my grade would be. 